Hey guys, welcome back to Sea Witch World. Hola, como esta? He's Spanish speaking now, guys. But anyway, guys, tonight is going to be taco night. We're still keeping the keto, y'all. I don't know how much longer we're going to do this, but we're keeping the keto for those that want to learn about keto style eating. So, guys, we have our meat sizzling on the grill. The grill is We've popping, already y'all. mixed seasoning and everything. We, we got our salads prepared with cheese on it ready for all the other toppings so guys Craig's gonna bless the food most holy and most God Father we thank you for this food we ask to be in our ministry for our body I'm gonna scoop up some of this put it on my lettuce and cheese what you got in that bowl tomatoes I got tomatoes in mine and I'm gonna put some cheese um, cheese on top I got some cheese over here too oh I'm gonna add some salsa y'all Oh, I want some jalapeno peppers. That's what I want. Put some peppers in it. Kick it up a notch. All right. Hmm. There you jalapenos. Gotta kick this gotta fork. up. Put some in the mix. Oh, okay, please. All right. That's mine, y'all. I'm going to put some cheese on it. Some cheese right there. This is a real simple meal. One last thing, guys. Some sour cream. Give me some. I get Got my sour cream on here. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more cheese, shredded right, cheese. I got salsa right here, y'all. Put my salsa on it. And I'm gonna get down. Y'all know what I do. Y'all see that? Oh, that's on my look. You know what? I think I need some more meat on mine. A little like meat. I went down in the lettuce. You no know, brother gotta have some meat on his. Today, my mom and one of her good friends were looking at our video. I mean, they were laughing so hard. They were laughing, especially at Craig. Mm. They said, look at him eat. <laughs> what was I eating? The double burger. Oh, that was good, y'all. He was throwing down. That double burger was good. With some jalapeno. Mm-hmm. Mm. That was really good. Off the uh, grill right here. I'm telling you, y'all, it was good. One of my customers said she's going to buy her some ground beef. I was not lying. I'm going to make her one of them burgers. But she said she got a grill. She said she, well, she didn't say she's gonna make it in a grill, but she's gonna make her one. She's gonna wrap it in lettuce. Oh, she gonna do a keto style. Mm-hmm. Oh, she said she want to cut back on eating bread anyway. Mm-hmm. She said that looking real good. Not hard to do. So tonight we're gonna talk about. What you can do to keep the flames rolling. <laughs> what flames? Mm. You, you must be talking about eat some of these jalapeno peppers. <laughs> That's funny. Is that what you're talking about? Mm-mm. No. We're talking about, we've been married almost 34 years. How do you keep the flames rolling? You know? Especially to young, young couples, you know? I'm interested in hearing this. Oh, you want to come up with the first thing? What's one of the first things you think? Well, I think sometimes you got to surprise them and kick it up a notch. Like, you know, me putting my lashes on. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to try to look a little cute. And do something a little different every once in a while. Mm-hmm. You agree? Mm-hmm. See? I do. He said, mm-hmm. Okay, your turn. Our turn. We can buy them some frying pans or something. Uh, win every time so they can cook us more food. How is that supposed to keep up the flame? <laughs> Fire. Flame type. 
you know. Us, our stomach, the man, wait till man's heart is the stomach, right? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just right, playing, y'all. I agree with that one. I'm just playing. Every once in a while, write him a letter. One morning, I um, left and I wrote my wife a letter. I said, Love you. Have a great day. Okay, guys, that was cute. But and that made her feel. He didn't write me a letter, he left me a note. There's a difference between a letter and a note. Well, but it was really nice and cute. It made my day. It made her day, see? Little things like that. Or buy, buy a little gift or something. Unexpected, not a birthday, not an anniversary. Just buy a gift. Okay. Women like emotional stuff like that. Man, we could care less. But some of us are. I, I ran into some guys that's really, really into the um, sensitive stuff. But a lot of us, we have to try real hard, you know, to be sensitive like our wives. Some women are not sensitive, you know. I know a couple of women that's not very sensitive. That's true. But, okay, my turn. Now, you're going to have to tell me, you know, if it's making a difference or not. Because I do put forth an effort to do certain things like... When he comes home from work, you know, let's say I haven't worked, or even if I have, if I'm home before he gets home. I like to greet him with, hey babe, you know, how was your day today? Yep, you do. So, you know, I don't go nagging about what went on or how my day was. I just, first I want to fill out, you know, how was his day? To let him know that it's important that I know, you know, he could have had a bad day. And he pro you know, may not want to hear my bad day. So I tried to fill him out like that. Your turn. You can respond to that. Mm hmm It do make a difference. Because you can set a tone of a house. Especially the man. You come into the house. If you come in really mad and grouchy and got a certain tone about yourself. You can set the whole tone off in the house, you know. But if you come in and get your mind, let your job be at the job. When you walk through your doors, let that be your kingdom. Let that be your thing that you're happy about, that you're excited about, that you see what you're building, you know. Let your job stay outside of your house. And I think that'll make a relationship flourish. Yes. Okay. It's your turn. I just said something. You just elaborated on what I said. It's oh. your turn. Okay. Well, another good thing is always compliment your wife. You know, you know, the baby look nice. You know, even um, when I don't. Or when, just when I do. You still pretty, baby. <laughs> Now, I just don't want no fake compliments. You're pretty. But always compliment your wife, you know. they Because they go through a lot. You know, they got to put their they get, do the hair. They got to do the makeup. They got to do the nails. We go through a lot to look good for us. And all we got to do is wash our face and comb our hair. We ready. <laughs> we ready. And once in a while, every one or two weeks, get a haircut. We fly. But they got to go through all their hair and all that stuff. So, you know, always compliment your girl because they always, they doing extra, you know. Yep. Okay. Now, on you. Okay, on me. Yeah. Another thing I think that is important is to choose your battles. Mm -hmm. I think that's very important. Is it worth arguing about, you know, because, I mean... Tomorrow, you guys going to be back in love again. So, that's one thing I learned early on. To choose your battles. Now, okay, let's say we're disagreeing about a certain thing. And maybe something that really makes you mad. Choose your words. Because words hurt. So, what I do is I sleep on it. Mm -hmm. I sleep on it. And guess what? The next day, it's not even that serious. So, don't react, you know, sporadically and just say what's on your mind. 
this is just my approach. Mm -hmm. I let it die down and then we talk about it the next day. Can I say something now? Yes, you gotta elaborate. All right, this is a case example. My wife had drapes up and they had been up for a while. I mean, about probably two years, a year, two yeah, years, something time. like that. Oh, well, anyway, they had been up a while. Oh, the same ones, what you said? Yeah, the drapes had been up for a while. So she was like, I had to go buy some drapes. And I'm like, ain't nothing wrong with them drapes. They still holding up at the window. They ain't broke, they ain't faded. You know, why take them down? She wanted to hit them down. So anyway, she found some different ones. So I was like, when she put them up, I looked at them, I was like, whoa, they do look nice. You know? Mm -hmm. So, the point I'm trying to make is, let the woman be the woman. You know, let her decide well, how she want to make her house look. Let her have that. Don't, you know, throw your opinion in there and cause her if she if she's thinking like the man then it's gonna be hard and it's all the way through the house you know and it ain't gonna be no feminine side so always let your female your your wife not your female but your wife always let them be them you know don't try to make them be you because if you make them you then it's gonna be two you two masculine roles in the house so let your female have you know her way in the house Okay, since you brought up the curtains, the <clears throat> drapes, or however you want to put it up, talk about the furniture. <laughs> hey. mm. Talk about the furniture. Ain't nothing wrong with the furniture. I ain't think nothing wrong with the furniture. The furniture has been there for a while. Years. Mm -hmm. She went and got some furniture. Her and my sister went out, put their heads together, and went out and got the furniture. Mm-hmm. And did you like it? I like the furniture. I didn't like the price, but I like the furniture. Case again. Well, right, because let me tell y'all. You was pretty upset that I went and purchased the furniture really without talking it over with him. But this is the thing. I said, I said to Anybody him, get <laughs> I was like, babe, you know, we've been having the same furniture since we've been here. You know, living room furniture. The furniture really wasn't worn. But well, no, it wasn't living room furniture. It was it, den too. You got den furniture and living room furniture. Anyway, okay. Right? I only got a sofa for down there. Mm. So anyway. Oh, I'm getting some more, y'all. Okay, go ahead, babe. I sorry. said to him, you know, that I wanted some more furniture because, I mean, we had been having it for a while. Even though it looked okay, but it was just time for something different, right? But he was like, okay, pay, that's fine with me. That's all I needed. <laughs> Y'all, when I came home, that furniture was sitting in the house. That's all I needed. No, it took a little that while for it to was come sitting in. The house. in after I had to order it after Double that. recliner downstairs. That's all I needed, but mm -hmm. then he gets upset. With phone chargers. He gets upset that I purchased new furniture without talking to him about it. But he told me, he was like, okay. <laughs> but see, he didn't think that I was going to go. When he said, okay, I didn't think it was going to be that quick. Pew! I think she already had that furniture. No, I out. didn't. Honestly, I didn't. But when he said, that was okay, I was pew! That was premeditated. So anyway, mm -hmm. then after I got the furniture... Oh, he's like, baby, I must admit, that really looks nice. Oh, he, he thought it looked really nice. That old furniture looks nice, too. <laughs> Saved so me a of, lot of bank. I was so sick Saved of... Saved me a lot of bank. Seeing that um old furniture all them years. Mm. Kids done came and kids done gone. Choose your battle, fellas. Choose your battle. Mm-hmm. Yep. The pan going for a second, y'all. No, oh, this is good. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just like a good, quick meal. Yep. How long it take you to ground some ground beef? Not long at all. Well, you needed some lettuce and cheese. That Most people really got that good. in there. Sour cream Most base. people got that in the uh, refrigerator. It's your turn, by the way. Well, 
one thing, this could go on and on. We can't come on. <laughs> go on and on. No, we don't want to run the video long. Okay. But anyway, you just got to communicate. Two. Always try to communicate because communication will bridge the gaps and don't go to bed without speak without loving your wife and kissing her and talking about your issues. Never go to bed mad. Alright? So we're gonna get ready to get out of here, right? Right? I'm gonna end on that now. You know what? I'm gonna say one more thing. Oh, I was when you know she still talking. When he said never go to bed mad, he really means it. Like I can be so like upset at him about something and I just turn my back. He will not let me go to sleep until I give him a kiss and we kind of resolve it a little bit, you know, and talk about it the next day. But sometimes we'll stay up and talk about it. But he don't want me to go to bed angry. I got to give him that. I appreciate that. You shouldn't go to bed angry. Mm -mm. I always try to talk the issues out. Communication and is you just, important. The main thing is learn to agree to disagree. Oh yeah, that's right. We talk about that's that. That's gonna all help time. you in your life. You might not agree with everything somebody say, but that's their opinion. You can't make them do anything. That's their own opinion. Right. You can't change a person's thought. Right. To be your thought. Just agree to disagree sometimes. And it'll make your life so much better. All right, y'all. We getting up out of here. Don't forget to subscribe and like and leave a comment. Love y'all. Peace out. Peace out, guys. Love you. God bless.